Welcome to Tython, Padawan. Everyone at the temple is looking forward to meeting you. Your former masters praise your combat skills. They say you're becoming an expert duelist. It's easy to excel when you're trained by the best. The Jedi Council will assign you a new master to oversee your final trials. You'll be tested in ways you can't imagine. But when you leave Tython, you'll know what it means to be a Jedi Knight. More importantly, you'll know yourself. I'm eager to face these trials. Where do I start? There's a speeder here that will take you to... Hang on. I'm getting an emergency signal. Flesh Raiders? Armed with blasters? He must be mistaken. I'm mistaken or not, that Padawan is under attack. They've never come this close before. Flesh Raiders are a species of hostile natives. They're smart enough to use tools and violent beyond reason. I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan training grounds right away. Especially you. Just point the way. I'll handle the rest. Take the speeder outside to the training right, grounds. Get you right push into back the flesh things. And find out if they're really using advanced weapons. Go. Right. I'll catch up with you after I alert the Jedi Council. May the Force be with you. You're unharmed. Good. Flesh Raider shot me in the leg while I was rescuing some Padawans. Don't know where these things got blasters, but I know how to use them. I've been evacuated to a med center, but the fighting isn't over. I'll push back the enemy, whatever it takes. We need to stop them at the source. Another Padawan found a cave tunnel the Flesh Raiders used to enter this valley. I need you at that tunnel, making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. I'll find this cave tunnel and seal it. Stop struggling, Padawan. Because the order must evolve, and you are weak. Whoever you are, step away from that Padawan. Hmm. You are... dangerous. You killed my soldiers. We have only begun. Lay down your weapons. I don't want to hurt you. The old order is dead. You all right? What happened here? Thank man's no Jedi. At least not one of us. He organized the attack on the training grounds. Called the Flesh Raiders his soldiers. I warned the Council these natives aren't mindless beasts. This is proof. This lightsaber... There's something familiar about it. Strange. You held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. Impressive. I followed my instincts. That's all. They served you well. This battle's over, but we don't want any more flesh raiders coming through here. See why you're a Jedi Master. When you get as old as me, you learn a few tricks. Who never wonder your power cooker to Ronti? Not yet. I'll get you to a med center. You seem all right to travel alone. Report to the Jedi Council. This valley isn't safe yet. I don't feel good about leaving. We have Jedi Knights rooting out the last attackers. You're needed elsewhere. Follow the path leading out of this valley. You'll find the Jedi Temple through the mountain pass. See you there. Come here, quickly. It's not safe today. Knight Weller sent me to help with the Flesh Raider to help. And the Force is with us. Few Padawans here can make that claim. The Flesh Raiders moved into the training grounds, organized and ready, attempting to isolate various groups of Padawans. There's a group of students in the hills we lost track of. They're not combat trained. Don't worry. Those Padawans will get home safe. I promise. I've got a beacon here. If you can find the Padawans and set the beacon, we'll send an evac shuttle as fast as we can. A group of Jedi from the temple is headed this way, but maybe not fast enough. May the Force be with you. He should be resting in the Jedi temple, but if you're determined to press on, I can help him along. 
Give him the last of the Colto if you have to. We'll fight again soon. Hey! Good to see another Padawan alive out here. You're lucky those creatures haven't caught you yet. Are you talking about the Flesh Raiders? They're hiding everywhere. We came seeking knowledge of the Jedi Code. The Flesh Raiders interrupted our trial. Never fought like that in my life. We killed it, but Jaredin was badly injured. I thought you didn't have combat training. The Masters wanted you out of harm's way. We're not warriors. Besides, it is not the Jedi way to seek revenge. That's your opinion, Mineus. It's not what we decided. Training or not, a bunch of animals won't keep us from becoming Jedi. Isn't she right? Jedi don't give up, do they? She is wrong. Remember the Jedi Code. There is no passion, there is serenity. That's enough, Mineus. If you want to help us, we could use you. Help make the Flesh Raiders pay. It worked, and a rescue speeder is on its way. You really came through for those Padawans. One of them was injured. You need to send a medic with the rescue team. Standard procedure. They're in good hands. You probably want to get back to your trials. Again, thank you, and may the Force be with you. Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled Flesh Raiders, and a Force user armed with a lightsaber. Are you alright? I'm sorry things ended in violence, but I'm glad to be alive. Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does them. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. I can control my feelings, no matter what I'm facing. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion, there is peace. Remember those words when times are darkest. And take this. The Code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the Council Chambers. I searched the Temple Archives. This Force user leading the Flesh Raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Can't get much darker than that. Well, that brightened up the room. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other Masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The Temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. They carry blasters and work like an army. We need to find out why. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it, Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in him. Stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. That is what you should aspire to, Kira. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. Uh, blast those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. <laughs> I'd rather do something about problems than discuss them. Still, there are times when talking is exactly what's needed. I'm talking about the shoes. It's like skater, skater shoes. Fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. I'll make sense of things later. Let's find our enemy. I know people who can help. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally. But frankly, we need them. How are they violating the law? Come over here, Jedi, and spare a moment for a humble servant of the Matriarch. I promise, your other dealings will wait. My name is Vidariot Aeon. I minister to the bodies and spirits of the villagers, and I have a request. I speak of the Flesh Raiders. Of late, we've seen them growing stronger, and I know why. 
What are the Flesh Raiders exactly? Where did they come from? No one's sure. They were here when the Pilgrims came to Tython. The Flesh Raiders have been experimenting, concocting an elixir that makes them ravenous. The ones who drink it go mad. Their lips froth, and they pounce like starving animals. It's black medicine, primitive and evil. How could Flesh Raiders learn to do something like that? I have no idea. Such wickedness is beyond our comprehension. We lack the numbers to attack the Flesh Raiders directly, and not even the Jedi could wipe the monsters from this world. But with our warriors' help, the Jedi could reach the Flesh Raider caves and destroy their vats of elixir. Then count me in. Thank you for this. Odemus Mare knows where the vats are hidden. He is our guard captain. Talk to him to learn the Raiders' secrets. Master Orgas Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deigned to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. We didn't realize how great a threat the Flesh Raiders had become. And now you seek help from the people you once ignored. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. With all due respect, time is a factor. I need that information. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. Removing that technology will neutralize the Flesh Raiders. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? Their technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers, and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. This village is vulnerable to attack. You need better defenses. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. Jedi, I think I know what you've been doing. Vidaria sent you to speak with me. She told you about the Flesh Raider elixir, didn't she? How it makes the Flesh Raiders strong. The Dariot's been looking for a way to destroy the elixir, but she's making a terrible mistake. We shouldn't destroy the elixir. We need it. And I'll pay you well if you bring it to me. What exactly are your intentions? The elixir can make our guardsmen strong. Yes, it may change them, but it will work. We can defend our village and destroy our foes. Bring it to me and you will be rewarded, praised. I won't help you feed the elixir to the pilgrims. Fine. Obey the orders of an old woman and destroy the elixir. But pilgrim blood is on your hands. The elixir is in the caves beyond our village. I doubt Jedi can even come close to the vats. The flesh raiders don't eat droids. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. I never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway. You should have seen what those filth did to her! I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten! No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? Don't lecture me, Jedi. My wife is dead. Our people slaughtered. Where were you then? Nothing I say will ever make you feel whole again. But we truly are doing everything we can. What about exterminating those animals? The Flesh Raiders won't stop until we're all dead. Are you going to let that happen? I won't quit until the Flesh Raiders are defeated. That's a promise. We'll see what a Jedi's promise is worth. 
I hope you can fulfill that pledge. I fear he won't take disappointment well. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person, and Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. <laughs> yeah, Anakin. <laughs> T7 was captured by the Flesh Raiders. You'll want to see the holo recording he made. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. With the weapons and technology you brought from the Flesh Raiders, my people can defend themselves. You risked your life to help us. My people haven't had a champion for some time. Jedi have a duty to protect and defend others. And we promise to share our knowledge in return for that duty. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi temple. Kaleth was a great city of Force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the Council. That hooded figure in the holo. I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. I'll hold the line until reinforcements arrive, Master. If you see that hooded figure from the holo, do not engage him. I get going. Go peacefully, or face the consequences. This is your only warning. <laughs> Interesting. Master Orgus sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? Hey, I didn't mean anything. Mouth gets ahead of my brains. This Flesh Raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a Force user. Interesting. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orgus was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. Master Orgus thinks he knows who's behind it. I gathered as much, but he had no time to explain before sending us here. I wish we could stay, see this through, but Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. These surveillance monitors will keep watch on Kaleth, place them around the ruins. The temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. Maybe we'll get lucky. Find Felix. the leader. May the force be with you, Padawan. On my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. You left without explaining anything. What has you so worried? I'll explain when I see you. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Work us out. Kiwitz told me what you found in Kaleth. A flesh raider who used the Force. She thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived? His lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's holo recording confirmed my suspicions. <laughs> the hooded figure in that recording is named Bengo Moore. He was my Padawan, but he never completed his training. Bengo was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. <laughs> the Force was with him if he got out of there alive. The Temple was annihilated. Hundreds of Jedi died that day. We never recovered all the bodies. Bengo was strong in the Force, and the most gentle being I've ever known. For him to turn against the Jedi, he has to be stopped. Apologies for keeping you waiting. Our people's matriarch, my mother, is dying. That's terrible news. Will you be all right? I wasn't expecting to lead our people for many years. My scouts have identified a flesh raider command base in the mountains. 
It's protected by an energy shield. The shield's power generator is hidden on a different mountain, in a well-guarded cave network. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? When have I ever let you down? First time for everything. Not that I'm worried. Hmm. See if you can give the droid an opening to gather more intelligence. That energy shield is your top priority. Knock it out fast as you can. Must be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. Your time is over. Master Bengal. Orgus is looking for you, Bengal. Orgus won't find me. I'll find him. You executed my apprentice, Caliph. I can feel his death on you. I spent years training him. He was a good man, a principled man. Proud of yourself? I didn't want to kill the man, but he left me no choice. There's always a choice. You should have surrendered to the inevitable. Every so-called Jedi on Tython is going to die. That's a promise. Your entire order is weak. You've done nothing to stop the Sith Empire's advances. Don't give in to hatred, Bengal. Let us help you. Help me become a coward like you? I'm the only true Jedi left in the galaxy. Enjoy this little victory. It's your last. Down the energy shield. Any word on Master Orgus's mission? No. My mother, she found peace during your absence. I am now Matriarch. You have my sympathies, Rana. But your people are in good hands. Before he left, Master Orgus told me there is no death. There is the Force. He believes our essence lives on when we die and merges with the Force. I hope that's true. Matriarch! Flesh Raiders broke through our defenses. They did something to our crop fields. They dropped strange machines in the soil. When a scout approached one, he collapsed with sickness. He crawled away from the device and began to recover, but there are many more machines still out there. Tell your people to stay away from the fields. I'll get rid of these things. Once again, I'm in your debt. Hurry to the fields. I fear we don't have much time. Destroyed the machines, poisoning your crops. I saw how you suffered out there. What you did was more than brave. It was... heroic. Please, take a token of my people's honor. I'm sorry it can't be more. Rewards aren't necessary. But thank you. I should go inform everyone that the danger is over. How are things on your end? I spoke to your old Padawan over the Hollow. He's doing all this so he can destroy the Sith. And it's not Sith himself. Good. If I can get to him, reason with him. At the Flesh Raider command base, I found coordinates to a number of secret camps. Too many to send only Jedi Masters. One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. Why spread our forces thin to hit all the camps at once? If we only go after a few, the Flesh Raiders could warn the rest and regroup. Be careful in those ruins. We haven't explored them all. Contact me. Missions complete. May the Force be with you. Master Orgus sent me to drive back the Flesh Raiders. Oze disazos homa leban. Lerego mosdu latlan felic gegob es elenga agiob. Powerful or not, there's no one else coming. Is as ala sone parton as atla to kisal. Flesh Raider camps out of commission, Master, but they were all Force users. They killed a Jedi named Lauta. His body is in these ruins. What should I do? We'll reclaim our fallen later. Just got a distress call from the Dwelik settlement. They spotted Ben Moore. Our forces are spread out dealing with the secret camps. We're the only ones who can handle this. 
I'm on my way to the settlement. Meet me there. Master Orgus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What's happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. Things have been quiet since you left. I haven't seen or spoken to Master Orgus. <laughs> Master Orgus should have gotten here ahead of me. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Your master will turn up. Why don't you stay a while? You must be exhausted. What? Stop it! What are you doing? Matriarch, step aside. Handing over the boy's master wasn't enough. This Padawan has to die. I told you to leave him alone. That was the pact. Fingalmore refused your terms. This is to save our people. What did you do to my master? Where's Bengal Moore? Bengal Moore came to me, said he'd end the Flesh Raider attacks if we gave him your master. He asked us to kill you too, but I said no. I told him we'd keep you here. You'd be safe, and my people would have a protector. If we don't do what we're told, Bengal Moore will kill us all. Bengal Moore is a monster. When he's done using you, he'll kill everyone. Don't resist. It'll only make things harder. Didn't they listen to me? It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was going to save you. Save us all. You gave my master to the enemy. No, you can still save him. Bingle Moore took Orgus to someplace called the Forge. Reactivate your droid. It might know where to find them. You can forgive me, can't you? I don't condone what you've done, but I understand. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do to make this right. Learn from this mistake. Spend your life atoning for what you've done. I won't waste this chance. That's a promise. I should tell my people what's happened. We'll bury and mourn our dead. I hope you find your master. Bengal Moore took my master someplace called the Forge. Do you know where that is? These Twi'leks deactivated you and tried to kill me. I had to defend us. I sensed you coming. Your fear betrayed you. You're weak. Like my old master. You will fall with him. What happened to you on Coruscant? Why have you turned against the Jedi? Not the Jedi. The sick, spineless cowards that have taken their place. The traitors who let the Sith slaughter millions. You weren't on Coruscant. You never saw our greatest cut down or watched the temple burn. I escaped that destruction to see my own master surrender to the Sith. They exterminated us, and he gave up. You're wrong about Master Orgus. He's training me to defeat the Sith. Weapons are only as strong as those who created them. The weak will be sacrificed here to make the Forge stronger. The Jedi Order must be reborn from ashes. <laughs> One. Why has the Force guided me to this defeat? You are stronger than any Jedi I have known. You could redeem the Order and destroy the Sith. I understand. You are the weapon I came to forge. You don't have a destiny, Bengal. You're sick. You need help. Don't deny the truth. Think. How else could you have beaten me? I have spent a lifetime learning the paths to power. That knowledge is now yours. Let me leave Tython and prepare the galaxy for your ascendance. I will deliver the gifts you need to reclaim your destiny. You'll get the help you need, Bengal. But you can't leave here. Padawan, I must have you to thank for being alive. I captured Bengal Moore, Master. He's resting quietly. You've done a great thing. The horrors he witnessed on Carson broken gentle Padawan I trained. You, however, faced a challenge beyond any trial I could assign. There's nothing more I can teach you. 
All that's left is for you to enter the forge and construct your own lightsaber for the weapon you create yourself. Normally, we make Padawans gather materials themselves, but you've proven enough. These are all the physical components. The rest will come from your mastery of the Force. I'll carry Bengal back to the Jedi Temple and get him help. Meet me there when you're ready. This weapon will be a light in the darkness. Flash Raiders are still a threat, but without Bengal's leadership, they'll be scattered and ill-equipped. This temple could have been devastated. The entire order is in your debt, Padawan. The enemy found weaknesses in our security. We have to guard against another Coruscant. Agreed. And now we have concerns beyond the Flesh Raiders. Recent developments in the Twi'lek settlement demand a response. Their matriarch betrayed me to Bengal, but she surrendered herself to us for judgment. You're doing, I understand. Good work. You know the Twi'leks, Padawan. How do you recommend we proceed? We created instability by refusing to help them. That has to change. What happened to Master Orgus is almost unforgivable. But if we do forgive and work with them, it can only improve both our communities. This young Jedi captured a fallen member of our order, and saved this temple from destruction. I see no reason why he should remain a Padawan. Your bravery, heroism, and sacrifice show great depth of character. You represent our best hopes for the future. You arrived on Tython a Padawan, but you leave a Knight of the Republic. May the Force be with you. Sweet. I promise to uphold every standard of the Jedi and Galactic Republic. Droid and I have been through a lot. We're a great team. Then I see no reason why you shouldn't stay together. It's Master Kiwix. Master Orgus, everyone. I've discovered a situation requiring further assistance. Our suspicions about Coruscant were correct. The Dark Presence we have long sensed is strongest here. I keep hearing about this Dark Presence, but I haven't sensed it. Had you spent as much time in meditation as the Council, you might. Something malignant works in the shadows of the capital. We must find it. This situation calls for our very best. Master Orgus, you and your former pupil should join Master Quix on Coruscant. Come to the Senate Tower as soon as you can. Master Quix, out. No rest for us, my friend. Complete any unfinished business you have and take a shuttle to Coruscant. I'll leave immediately, Master. I need to wrap up some things before I go. Meet Dwan Corson. Farewell. The Force will be with you. Always.